Hi again, uh, we are back at the Theatre Raymond Cabaz on stage. I hope you enjoyed this uh, second night of the International Dance Los Angeles Festival. Uh, we have one more film for you, uh, Lazarus by Tuchen Bennett. Runtime is 8 minutes 34. And I'm very happy and proud to welcome Tuchen Bennett tonight on this, on this stage. Uh, Tuchen Bennett is a choreographer and filmmaker based in Barcelona and Los Angeles. She was awarded for ex exceptional input for dance cinema at Choreoscope Barcelona 2020. She has choreographed uh, for feature films, advertising campaigns and music videos all over the world, collaborating with production companies such as Canada, O, uh, Blink, Doomsday and Cultural Films and with artists such as Tame Impala, Polo and Pan, uh, Justice, Al Guin Show, Juanes and Javier Amena, among others. Um, her choreographies have been nominated many times at the UK Music Video Awards and she won the Le Club de Directeur Artistique 2018. She uh, co-created the dance company Les Filles, Fallen in Barcelona, in Barcelona, awarded Best New Talent 2011 by the Dance Association of Catalonia, and besides creating her own work for the stage and performing in festivals around Europe and America with the company, she directed and edited her own music videos and short dance films. She recently finished her medium-length choreographic film Aloma y Milla, and is in post-production on our next film. Tushan Bennett graduated in choreography and interpretation techniques at the Institute del Teatre de Barcelona and earned an MFA in film directing at the California Institute of the Arts in Valencia. So welcome Tushan and congratulations on this beautiful resume. <laughs> Thank you. Now we know who you are, so uh, let's talk about uh, Lazarus. Um, the inspiration for that film comes from Edgar Allan Poe. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, it actually, that funny, in a funny way, Edgar Allan Poe comes at the end. So it comes at the editing process. So the, the inspiration came more about the, 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 the matter of the death of a woman and the objectification on the body of a woman. And we started just like filming uh, in these locations and then when I had all the material and I was sitting down and uh, editing the film, I, uh, Edgar Allan Poe came in. Edgar Allan Poe in this quote that uh, says that no, like the death of a beautiful woman is the most... I thought tragic. that was the, what came first, you know, when you... No, it actually that. came in the end. It was a matter of like improvising, like we did it in sort of like a choreographic way. We improvised uh, around improvised with like a certain theme that we knew we were we were working on we actually like were thinking more of the of the poem by uh, Sylvia Plath that is Lazarus also that that came more to mind when we were when we were shooting but then when i was sitting on the edit, editing room is when Edgar Allan Poe and this quote came in and and was good for me to like make chapters throughout the film and organize because we had all these deaths yeah. happening around the, the landscape and then I use that quote to, to make chapters out okay. of the film. Yeah, it looks like it's built out of this poem, but then yes, the other way. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So, you, so you, you do improvisation and then you, you didn't come up, well, it, it's about the death of a woman though, mm -hmm. so it can be funny. How did you find a, a balance between the morbid and the funny and how, how did you translate that into the movement? Yeah, I think that's something that is usually on all of my work, that it's usually like this weird uh, thing of like taking matters that are sad and like but then making them ironic which I mean is I think it's a, almost like everything in life now we try to make things like even now with everything that's going on we're making sometimes like trying to find the irony in it to make life more livable and I think that's what we did in, in this in this film too it's like she dies but then she some, somehow like questions her death and repositions it and and that makes it become a little bit awkward and and then a little bit ironic yeah yeah so so there's many position not not movement but movement to get into that death position you know the falling movement the, the last movement of your life mm -hmm. last breath and, and how did you choreograph it this mm -hmm. well um we have been working with deaths 
for a, 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 a for a time already for like a year or something with Angela uh -huh. and uh, the the dancer and. It was, yeah, a little bit of improvisation and a little bit of things that we had already been working on, which were, we started by copying deaths of uh, Western films, like, you know, like, uh, yeah, of <laughs> the deaths of the Westerns, but like, uh, uh, it, long know, time, it's, like, it's very funny films. because everyone is doing this, you know, sometimes I do that to my wife, I just pretend I'm, I'm dying or I'm exactly, dead when you know? she comes so it's home, like you know, this, yeah. so it's, it's a really good theme, I think, it's yeah. funny, and, that's and how at we, the same time, it's like, so you get inspiration from the from the movie, American movie? Yeah, from the movie. So that's why, yeah, that's why the, the film is talks a little bit also about this, no? Like about the frame. She's aware of the frame, and she repositions herself on the frame, on on the frame, and and all the inspiration comes about the movie and about questioning. So so death examples on on the road, on the on the track, uh, on the, in a restaurant. She, but you could have made it longer, no? There's there are so many examples of dying. <laughs> I mean, dying, we could you have know? gone on forever. Yeah. <laughs> this was just like we had a. It was a three-day trip that we took with Angela and with Mavra, who is the the DOP, and we were actually scouting for another piece. But then we started working, so that's why it ends because it was a three-day. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> trip, but we had many more ideas, I guess. Yeah. Exactly. And you, didn't, you didn't use suicide. Well. Who do, I mean, in all of these deaths, we don't know why she died. Oh, Many yeah. of them could oh, be. Oh, yeah, maybe like the one in the... Well, I'm not going to say too much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. And um, how did you choose the dancer? She, uh, who, who did the casting and why Angela Bosch? Angela Bosch. I've been working with Angela since my final project in uh, back when I was doing choreography. So on a live performance. And we just get along very well. And she understands very well this, like going along with it and, and, and improvising in front of the camera and working, yeah, and, and we're just good friends now too. And she was here visiting me just to like uh, visit Los Angeles. She's not here now? No, she's oh, from Barcelona. Barcelona. She lives in Barcelona. She's, I mean, and she's an amazing dancer. So, and I love to work with her. She's, uh, yeah. She, yeah, you can see that you used to work together. In, yeah, uh, we're used to working together for many times and yeah, and she understands very well that this type of what you just said before, this type of like morbid irony somehow, like she understands it very well and lets it flow a lot and that right, works right. very well. And so where did you film the film and how long did it take for the shoot? So as I was three saying, days? the shoot was like three days and we shot in, uh, yeah, as I, as I said, we were like sort of scouting for something else and we shot in, in the basket rocks. So it's here in California, uh -huh. in the Vasquez Rocks, which are like near Valencia, like a little bit up north. And then we went to Trona, to the pinnacles of Trona, and some like city, cities we found on the way. Yeah, like in the, in the desert. Good. And uh, can you tell me more about the, the music? At the beginning, there's some uh, funny music and then some <laughs> other kind of music and the, and the costume. Yeah. Well, the music came also in the editing and it there was this uh, moment where I thought like when when I was working with already like with this Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe idea where death became something spectacular I thought well if death is something spectacular it's sort of like a circus somehow and I searched for like this circus type of music and that's this like fun so this came after the editing everything yes editing. yes yes and the other one, yeah, it's also a, it's a song by Carlos Santos, which is a yeah. Catalan composer that had just died oh, I'm when I was this. editing, and and I think maybe that's why it it, it got inspired and it came this like okay. quieter music that comes after. Okay, very good, very interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you tell us more about your next work? Yeah, I'm actually working on a feature film that is also starred by Angela Bosch. <laughs> And I'm just on the like final stage of post-production. It's called Clausura, and it's gonna be a feature now. So uh, it's uh, it's more, and it's also a little bit about death. It's uh, Angela. Her character is her name is Aloma, and she's mourning and carrying her dead brother along the river. Um, in this also like it's also a movement based uh, with dialogue too. So it. it it does have a narrative, more of a narrative than Lazarus, but it's also based in movement and in gesture and and 
in this like weird time and space that usually with a funny touch again or a little bit Humor. maybe not as much uh -huh. but yeah yeah there's always a little because it's awkward i think that basically it's awkward when you use gesture and movement on film it might become a little bit awkward okay <laughs> well thank you so much to, to chan it's time to to, to see lazarus yeah. thank you for being with us tonight it and thank you for being exciting. with thank you Thank you for being with us tonight too and please come back tomorrow for last night of International Dance Los Angeles with uh, new inspiration. Goodbye.